gosh. It's what? Muted? It was muted. It was muted the whole time. Why are y'all ain't <laughs> tell us? Guys, sorry, we gotta start over. I forgot to Somebody push muted button. us. Oh. All right, guys. So, welcome to another edition of Side Eye Chat. Chat. Thank you. <laughs> y'all missed the muted version. But, anyways, I am Fields. Angie. Quarter. And, yeah, if you're not following us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok, make sure you are following us. And take your finger right now. This is what I was doing while I was muted. When y'all was wondering what I was doing. And hit share. Share the live. Share the live. Share the live. Hopefully you guys are ready for some great topics tonight. So, first topic. Well, no. Are we doing feuds? Yeah. Unforgivable. Hey, everybody. That's what you are. No, unforgivable. Feud. Things that are hard to forgive. Go. Liars. People that lie to me, yeah. Um, cheaters? Def- Ooh, yes, definitely, definitely. Cheaters. That's my number mm, number one, two. Thieves. Yes. Don't come up in my space and steal for me. What if they steal your man? Ooh, I I'll never, never forgive you. I'll oh, never forgive you. Or him. Because yes, if he's he not he supposed to be no. stolen. Never yours. No, but listen, right, I know but this I'm girl. Not gonna give you the one of them. No, I listen, <laughs> I know this girl who really stole a man, like literally, like stole him. Oh, I thought you was about to say like somebody no. stole your boyfriend in the third. Oh grade. no, in the third grade. Hey, I got know. punched in the stomach in the third grade. Yeah, <laughs> snitches. You can never forgive snitches. Mm. Who said that? Hey, you, okay. Y'all both snitches. said that. <laughs> it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Um, let's see. Unforgivable food, things hard to forgive. People, somebody eating my food. Like, you know you got food in a refrigerator. to you all the time. I know, but <laughs> anybody but him. him. Okay. I forgive him. <laughs> anybody <laughs> but him. Like, don't with a straight food steal food. my food or put your finger in my food or what, breathe over my you food. Have, do you have several? A food thief that will watch me back out of the driveway knowing Through I left oh. my Kobe's in the fridge. Not the Kobe's. Wait to me. And whisper that I forgot my lunch. And then when I get to work on the side <laughs> that I don't have my lunch. And I'm calling, hey, I left my Kobe's. I'm going to eat know when who I that get is. home. Oh, I already ate that. We already know so who they, that is. They do this. You forgot me. Yes. Forgot so they can say yes. that I told you. Yes. I was yelling to you. Yes. I tried to catch you before you left. And that's exactly what they tell me. <laughs> I tried to tell you when you was leaving. Because I'm like, why are you even waving at me? That's so odd. That was weird. Yeah. Now you know. Stealing my lunch. Hey, Deshaun. He said, what's up, y'all? Yellow. Um, Someone that hits me. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Definitely. My mama said, if you hit me, hit, hit you back. back. Woo, child. Straight up. What else? Something else. Let's see. Unforgivable. That's unforgivable. If you do anything to my kids. Oh, yeah, definitely. Don't touch mm-hmm. the kiddos. Mm-hmm. Mess with my money. Destroy my property. Like I spent my money, my hard earned coins on that. Uh oh. Oh, Oscar said thanks for coming out to the thirty something weekend. <laughs> Salute Queens. Thank you for the invite. Sick. And oh. um, yeah, we had one person that was not. I mean, Oscar, good. I could have showed away. up <laughs> in my black <laughs> bathing suit <laughs> with brown stuff possibly running down my leg. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> if that's how you wanted it to to go down. Um. I don't yeah. think he wanted that. Yeah, we we, we made an executive it. decision. She tried to come. She really did. But we was like, nah, stay home. Plus, yeah. when you get in the car and you have to pull over at the Circle K, not even I no, even get to the BP. Called us and like, girl, pull over. Um, go home. <laughs> go home. Yeah. Turn around. Couldn't even make it. Volunteering lies. You oh know yeah, I just lying for no reason. Turquoise. That is the truth. Look what you got to lie for. Nobody even asked you something exactly. like exactly. But people do that told though. Told the story with the lie, like, but nobody even asked you, right? That I think I mean that's forgivable to me, but it's just like mm-hmm. I'm not gonna trust nothing you say. Like, right? I forgive you for your foolishness, but I'm not. I guess trust it depends you, on you. what they volunteering the lies about. Anything, that is true too. But yeah, yeah. All right, that is anybody true else. Too. Last call, unforgivable feud. Number one answer was what. We didn't have no number one. Lies. Everybody had different, different. Diff- everybody had different responses. Yeah. My number one was what lies and cheating. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. Number one. Number one answer. Good answer. Okay. 
Share the live, share the live, share the live. We waiting on you, operator. Hey, smooth operator. operator. Scarlet just a teeny wincy, lincy bit. Um, so fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. If it were up to me, I would never do blank again. Y'all know my answer. Get caught by the propose. Oh my god. In a compromise. You can't let situation. that go. I can't let it go. Think? I would never let that happen again. If it were up to me, I would never do blank again. Take castor oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know you, you made me think of something i had took and never again man because every new year's no you know what magnesium mama, is mama. that milk and magnesium Ew, in a little blue bottle <laughs> never ever again oh, milk and magnesium i would never never I take, take that so again oh gina oh. said get married uh, two times, she's two times divorced uh oh, Gina. I can see why you don't want to go through that again. Right. But third time could be so a charm. Third, third time, time might be a charm. charm. Gina, like, I'm a chef. You girl. already know the signs it. for <laughs> whatever it is that you don't want. So, you. Okay. you know. Oh, can I say this, though? It's not do, but drink Patron again. <laughs> really? I, I would never, Patron. ever drink Patron again, Especially ever. Tea, like, it had me, like, I'm never, you. never. I can't. And you you got to know your limit with Patron. No, if no. you're a lightweight, I'm not one even to touching two it with my shots, finger. It's probably your max. Not even touching one it shot with my finger. Me, it just makes me nauseous. It's so even one shot just make me ugh. nauseous. I I don't like uh, it. No, I would but never do that I'm, again. I'm gonna say Jaeger. Partying with what, the white Jaeger people. Jaeger bombs. Oh yeah. Uh, man, partying with the white people. It tastes like black licorice. Ooh. Times infinity of grossness. I used to have a VP that liked to drink Jaeger. Yeah, they bought a round of shots for everybody, and that was it. Was and it kept me on my ass. I, I was that man in the bar in the bathroom, hovered over the toilet. Happy hour. <laughs> Always lit. Right. Um, never again. With I, I wanted to know what Antonio would never do again. Oh my god. Have that, somebody sleep underneath the mattress. Nah. Let, nah. Hide underneath the mattress. First of all, if I was that girl, I would never get under that mattress again. <laughs> all right, that's what she said. I just wonder what she was thinking. That's she was a child under the mattress. Trying to get caught. Oh Before my said, god. Drink Pete Whitney. What is I've never Pete had Whitney? that. Uh, I never I heard of people talking about Pete Pete Whitney. What it's like it? a drink. Is, is, it 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 is it that is it's, it that it's, pink it's, kind and it's in like in a black bottle? Like yeah, black yeah, I don't know what color. Oh, I love that. I've never had it. I, I think you have. I think I've had Here? it. The pink, yeah, the pink <laughs> liquor. First. It was like in a clear bottle, but with a black liquor. You had that pink. before? That was here? Yeah. That was some lemonade stuff. No. no it was. I think that's really? what it is. Y'all, I don't have my bottle. Have, have a bottle lot of women. women. I'm about to laugh out loud. No, that's stressful, huh? Yeah, he probably was broke having have a lot of women. Have a lot of women. women. It's a lot to juggle women's in these streets. Let's see. I would never. Oh, don't say that. No, we don't want to hear what Antonio. Yeah, we want to hear it. We want to hear it. We, we want to hear it. We want to oh, hear it. Okay, it's vodka. Oh, it's a vodka. Okay. Let's see. If it were up to me, I would never. Candy said, have, have more kids. kids. Candace, I'm with you, girl. Uh, yeah. Well, I haven't um, had my first yet, so, so I got, just got to you get got one. plenty of kids to come. <laughs> said, Let me wish one, that on you. Uh, <laughs> let's start with one. A uh, one. Okay. <laughs> I Girl, am getting up. I see ladder. you with three. You might have. I more than have one the number. first time. It has to be easier. So for that. So what oh, if, if you, I have twins? That would be no, great. no, 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 no. What if out. you have triplets the first time and it's then, an odd number? Well, that's different. But I mean, like kids at three different ages, like having three kids at three different ages. I was, the, I was a third kid. I was cue the violin. <laughs> but you was the third kid. That's that's the baby. That was the baby gets was spoiled. Yeah, but when the other two kids are playing with each other and won't play with you, have a baby by deadbeat. Mason. That's said. a good one, babe. Oh. No more, no deadbeat. Rupert dads. said, "No more kids." Yeah, no more. You don't need no more. Candy <laughs> said she had twins, twins the first, first go around. And you don't want to Yeah, <laughs> they might have triplets the next go round. True, true. You know, it'd be nice if all the deadbeat. Moms and dads, like people that in them just had it like tattooed on them, so you know. What, so you'll know. Like, Debbie yeah, don't work. Debbie don't work. No, because there's some Debbie moms actually, out there too. Oh yeah, I know. You just need Definitely a warning know. sign. You know? But listen, yeah, tattooed on. Do you know a Debbie is Debbie before they're a Debbie? Do you? Sometimes you can, and sometimes you can't, because people change when they can't get involved. You need to write that down. Write it for down. Another topic. Do you know if a Debbie a Debbie dead, huh? before they're a Debbie? Hold on, the secretary. Yeah, write it down. Write yeah. it down. I, I actually touched my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely gonna be a topic. Think yeah. about that, guys. Next topic. Not yeah. Okay. 
We not there yet. Okay, I'll put it on. All right. I'll write this down. All right, so next topic. Angie, you ready? I'm used to looking with my glasses. Oh. Okay, let me see, girl. Can relationships survive after a partner has an outside child um, of the relationship outside of the relationship or gets pregnant from an outside person mm-hmm. she's violin let's see can relationships survive um i'll say that when i saw on instagram didn't when he got that chick all them boxes and she kept opening boxes waiting for a gift and then she opened like 12 boxes and what was in it was the, the paternity DNA test, test. Oh, yep. okay. <laughs> and he said get your sh- and get out oh wow because he crazy. found out that their kid was not his i I'm just going to answer first. I guess um, for me, it cannot survive because um, if I'm with somebody and they have a child like outside of our relationship, then I'm just going to feel like they just need to go over there and, and be with, make, be with, yeah, be with that be person with. and raise that kid, okay. raise your child. They need to go try to feel a family. At that yeah, point. be a family over there because for me, no, it's a no. Like it can't survive. I've seen it happen. Me too. But it's just cut me. I personally um, know. And would I expect a man to stay with me if I, like, laid down and got pregnant by somebody, somebody else? else? Like, I wouldn't... I don't even think I could expect a man to stay with me if that happened. Like, so, personally, I couldn't mm-hmm. accept it if a man did it to me. And I don't, wouldn't expect a man to accept it from me. From me, yeah. But, like you said, I've seen relationships survive like I that. I just can't I survive. I don't think I can. I can't. Because in my head, that's I'm going to be like, lot. you just got her pregnant. Now you got to go see your child. Like, what are you doing? Like, like that's the time. And then, forever. obviously, like, she knew something. Yeah, you knew something. You knew something. You so knew we was the guy. It's a no for me. Um, I say, if you were in a serious relationship with someone and you either had an outside baby or got pregnant from <laughs> someone else... I think it's a very, very hard chance of the relationship surviving because it's kind of hard to come back from not only you cheating on somebody, but you basically have unprotected sex with someone and now you have a whole child with someone else. So while I personally don't think it will work out, I have seen situations where people have had outside children and they work through it and work it out, but it has to definitely be on uh you have to be on the same page of working it out. It can't be no back door and going back sleeping with the but then, person that you made a baby with. How could you? you I, don't think I, could, I don't think I could trust that, that because disrespect. you already had the child. Like, yeah, it's bad enough you stepped you out got, on me, but then you then got, got a whole pregnant? baby. Like that's nah. a whole life. Like, but and then you bring that baby over. I'm gonna just might have to take it out. Let me stop. <laughs> All right, mm-hmm. um, no, nah, it can't. Jacoy said, Gina said, it's a no for me. Del said, hey, Del. We still waiting on our shirts, Del. <laughs> Del said, pregnant from somebody else. You dead. I'm straight. <laughs> Damn, Del. Darren said, heck no. Deshaun said, it's all about communication and maturity. Mm, I guess I'm mature enough for, for it. Do you, you right? Not I'm not mature enough for that, I don't think. At all. I can't. Don't I can't, said, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, that was from the last question, I think. Um, he said, oh, um, uh, Johnny? I don't have Johnny. Oh, depends have on the level of you guys, uh, the level, level you of, guys were dealing with. So, I guess you're saying... Level you're of a, guy, the level of guy. The guy, level guy, of, yeah, oh, okay. okay. The level you're, of man that oh, you're, level dealing you're dealing because, with. Because, I mean, honestly speaking, the more money that the man has, a lot of times the People more... People are willing to deal with certain is things. To, so, if you're a multimillionaire, a woman might look past six kids, but she's going to leave you on the seventh. <laughs> Or they <laughs> right? Uh, she then, she has a limit. Then, it's then just a stop. higher limit. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, hey Monique. Hey um, Mom. Del said stare at them for too long. We broke up. <laughs> and Turquoise said it depends if they have an open relationship. If not, then not at all. Mm-mm. That is true too. But I mean, Some, even in an open relationship, I'm they do have guidelines. They do have boundaries. Like, where like part of that might be don't have don't no baby. Don't have no baby on me. <laughs> Like you can't control that though. I mean, I you mean, can you take can. the Yeah, you can take there. precautions. I mean, nothing is people that live that except no sex. Uh, Candace said okay. they can, but not mine. Oh, and uh, um, Kingo said it's not surviving until they both have a baby outside each other. 
Okay. Cause oh man, you got a back too. You, you an eye for an eye I, person. I'm getting you back. <laughs> my eye for an eye. But let me tell you something. Just cause Jeremy. you go went out there and had a baby on me, don't mean I'm about to sit here and go get pregnant. Be crazy. By Joe and Just be, cause and be, you. And be crazy. Cause it hit different when you a woman get pregnant. Mm-hmm. So let's not even. Go there. Go there. I might not be able to eye for an eye you on that one. Not for that one. Y'all can have it. <laughs> Darren said, are those relationships really surviving? Or are they uh, just, are they just don't know their worth and scared to start over or move mm-hmm. on? I mean, That's um, possible I guess too. it just depends. It could be that, but I have seen it work out where they are. I mean, I've they had it. to go through it, but come out in a better relationship wise at the end of it. But not saying that's the situation for most Time I knew a, um, a guy who got with the whole girl who was already pregnant. Hey, you well, know. I think that's different. I mean, because they already pregnant, so it ain't like you were expecting them to not be pregnant with yeah. somebody else's baby. You know, like it. it some people are willing to step into that, that, role that role and accept that. But if I'm with you and you and done you got this, bye bye, bye bye bye. I forgot to put on my makeup. I didn't have time. Why I was you, looking you at still them. Cute. Oh, I was looking at it and I was like, you don't need no makeup. Why do I look? Why do you look like work? You do not look like work. <laughs> this is, I'm looking at you right now. Work, 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 work. work. Everybody can't look like this on screen. I'm trying to be Alicia Keys. And <laughs> you can't like say Russell, Russell Wilson. <laughs> Leave Russell alone. He's a great stepdaddy. Stepdaddy. He is a great stepdaddy. Do the stepdaddy. Where the Russell Wilson's at? <laughs> That's where everybody, <laughs> That's everybody, That's where everybody be screaming. They're putting an the ad out in the paper where for the Russell, Russell Wilson's Wilson. at. <laughs> Don't be asking for Russell. Hey, AJ. Yeah, right. Oh, if, if you're not you a Sierra, Sierra. Be Sierra. Mm-hmm. Final thought is, we said no, no, and did you say no? All of us said no, yeah, right? No. Yeah, okay, no, all of us no. Said no. But she at least acknowledged that there are some ways that it could work, but, but not with us. Not with us. No, no, no. Just so you know, no, so no, no, no. Antonio, unless you wanna, that's your balls right there. No outside your babies. Don't have no babies. No outside babies. That's your balls. Snip, 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 snip. Watch it. Hope you're watching the show, Antonio. <laughs> and she said, that's your balls. That's your balls. The one and the two. <laughs> so, um, prenup denups. Does getting a prenup mean that they think the marriage is going to fail? Hmm. Hey, Carl. Hola. Does getting a prenup mean that they think the marriage is going to fail? Are they already okay. going in it with a preconceived think- notion that we ain't going to make it? What you think? I think that... This is a tough question because it depends. Because it depends on your financial status. Say, for instance, like, you're rich, you know? And I'm your man. And I'm not that rich. You want to protect yourself because you never know what's going to happen. You still love me, right? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to look at it from their perspective. Like, I'm not getting no prenup. So, I'm not signing one, I mean. You're not signing (laughs) one. I'm not signing one. But if I were... (laughs) You're not gonna sign one, but and that's fine. But I'll make you sign. <laughs> but you make. But I'm the saying. devil standard. No, but I mean, I kind of understand where people are coming from when they want people to sign a prenup because you definitely, at the end of the day, you do have to protect yourself. You never know what's gonna happen. You, you can't don't. predict the future. Yes, you can be in love with this person, but love only goes so far sometimes. Yeah, and so sometimes you never people got know. hidden motives, right? Yeah. So you never know what's going to happen. So I feel like at the end of the day, like. It doesn't mean that it's over, but I feel like there should be a certain level of protection. It's like Tracy Morgan's about to be ex-wife. Oh, damn. Oof. I didn't know he was going through a divorce. But um, I, I would say mm-hmm. it don't necessarily mean that they think the marriage will fail. They're just right. protecting themselves in the event that it does fail. Because, because look, we live happen. in a 50-50 shot that your marriage is going to fail. It might be more than that <laughs> at this point. So, I mean, you got to protect yourself because if you are, like Chandra said, if you're wealthy... Or it may not even be what you have now. It could be what, what you, you potentially might. Um, might have in the future that you want to protect. If you're trying to protect assets, I mean, you might be working on something that might blow up and be something big. So you just want to protect that and not have somebody that becomes vindictive after you break up. Because people might people say, I love that. you for you now. But, but then later, 20 years from now, when you trade to a man for a younger model or somebody else, they don't have those <laughs> same feelings younger towards model. you. Younger model. Like they coming for your job. They a little upset. So, what it happened? About you got to protect model. yourself. Oh. Um, so, let's see. Um, Carlos said, getting a prenup means they understand marriage is a business that requires a license. license. 
Um, Kara said, not necessarily. It's just protecting yourself. Okay, King. I kind of agree with that. Um, mm -hmm. What if a man... Okay, no, I'm sorry. That's the last topic. Gina said, no, just protecting your assets. Antonio also said, no, but it protects me. And um, Darren said, nah, they just being smart. It can work out for both parties. And I'm missing some comments. I'm, sorry I'm missing some. Where you stuck the turquoise? turquoise? You did that one no, Okay. So turquoise said, no, it just means I worked hard for my stuff. Darren said lies. I don't know who he's saying lies to. Um... Oh, talking about you that. love him or something like that. I love, you. I love you for you. I love you for you. you. <laughs> if you love him for him, then sign, then sign him. Then sign him up. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Gina agreed with Carlos. Johnny said it's called protecting concrete assets um, from the risk associated with the investment. And then Kingo said prenup should last till a couple become senior citizens. Kingo <laughs> <laughs> just go out the window. Out the window. But Boom. There are different types of prenups. Like yeah. I know that when Angelina Jolie married, when she was married to Brad, Brad, Brad Pitt, there was a sex clause in their prenup that they had to have sex at least three times a week. Or else. Girl. Yeah, that was, there was the heck? in there. Like prenups and then It's um, not just all about the money, it's basically. Not. And then um what you call it, the lady that's married to um Lionel Richie. She get paid every time he, cause he's a, men, a nympho. Every time he cheat on her, she get paid. Oh my lord! Mm -hmm. I learned about that when I was like twelve. What the heck? Twelve? <laughs> but what yeah. The heck? So I mean, there are di like <laughs> prenups <laughs> aren't just about like you can put other stuff in your <laughs> prenup. Like I mean, if I got the sign one, I'm gonna have one on my side, bro. That's gonna be like you got when this? I drop a jit for you. Hung at your baby, I'm you going to the gym. <laughs> or you gonna put in you gonna put in for this in case my body, body. Will snatch back fun. Right. You paying for that. Oh wow. Are you putting in half? Cause it's half your fault. <laughs> Chad said no prenup. I love you, girl. <laughs> All right. I love you, girl. I love you, girl. That's funny. So I just don't I don't think it means the marriage is going to fail though. I, I mean, think prenups are smart, but I smart, will say this. Just smart. You know, if you guys are married beyond a certain amount of time and say that person, like you've been married and one person really was like the sole provider and paid for all the bills and stuff. And all of a sudden y'all get a divorce. And now this person that might not have worked for 10 or 15 years now has to fend for themselves. I do think there should be something to at least help that person get back on their feet to being a responsible, independent adult. If right. the other person that truly part. has been taking care of them. But I don't believe you got to get a million dollars a month. Like for that to happen, yeah, like people be fighting for like a million dollars in child support, two million support. in child support you a month the, to the life to which style which they have become accustomed to. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, Donald said, "Hello, ladies, I'm Team Prenup." Carlos team Prenup. Said, oh, that's my uncle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Carlos said, "A will and prenup could technically be used in similar ways. It's all about how you uh, allocate finances and assets." All right. And Kiana said, I'm not worrying about that because I have no desire to be married. Rock out until the death of us. Me and mine are good. All right, All right Kiana. Yes. I mean, if you move to a common I mean, law state, just don't move to Georgia, like Georgia or some other common yeah. law state. Don't do that. Cause Isn't Florida one? Florida's not a common law state. I thought it was. <laughs> Shade said, I looked, my, you um, I looked it up money. on my brother. You did? Yeah, ain't you no my blood brother. I looked it up on him. If he makes more money than me, ain't, ain't no, no prenup. My, to my JK. No, nah, well, you ain't I, playing. I think my niece is 30. And my brother done been with his woman for 30 years and ain't never been married. My auntie the same way, though. Hey, if I they saw, have it, I, I thought Florida, Florida, Florida's I, not common law. I could have sworn it was. Maybe it's not. I got mm -hmm. it. You looked it up, so I you already it, know. Yeah, I looked like, it up. Because I was like... You have to apply for something in Florida. I could have sworn it was... It don't just Maybe that's just a ghetto in. thing. They're like, oh, that's common law. Like, they right. should be saying it. You know <laughs> you how black look up your state. Oh, they've been together so long, they common law married. Yeah, look up your state. <laughs> Oh my um, gosh. Charday because said, Charday said, if he make more money, then ain't no prenup, JK. Yeah, she, she playing. Let me yeah, stop. That's a good way to look at it. It's just it's an insurance, insurance policy, policy with a different name. Yeah. An insurance I mean, that is a good way to look name. at it. Okay. Right. okay. okay. It's insurance. You know, like when you're playing back blackjack and they ask, do you want insurance? Assurance. Where well, they get blackjack, you get your money back. You pay. Yeah. If you gambler. It is. Yeah. You gambler. I like blackjack. Guys. Like <laughs> Thank you for all of you guys who are tuning in. If you're just now tuning in, make sure that you are following us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. Hey. And also make sure you share the live. Hit share right now. It's free. How much is it? 
Free ninety nine for much, all the time. Free ninety nine. It's free, so you hit know, share. Y'all not drop even a your limited Twitter time. and TikTok name. Yeah, drop them. and IG so I can follow you guys and you can follow us back. Okay. All right. So Ooh. this is a slightly sensitive, sensitive topic. topic, but you know I you know been reading about how Florida is working on like some of their abortion laws and stuff, and so it just mm-hmm. kind of wanted to. See what y'all think, but Don't abortion, is it her choice or our choice? Well, are you together or are you not? <laughs> I mean, a lot of stuff plays plays a role in this question. It does. And there's so many there's so many so sides, many to, sides to this story. Um I think personally at the end of the day, it is her choice because it's her body. That's just my take on it. <laughs> uh, you know uh, It depends though, like if we're like I don't know if, if you're in a committed relationship with somebody. I mean, I think you guys should sit down and like have a conversation. That should be more of a conversation our should be had. And if she does want it, she needs to tell them like tell him why, explain why. Like you know what I mean. There needs to be some type of explanation behind it. But if y'all just like people want to know if they're married, if they're married, if they're um, if they're married, if they're married, the married is their married, choice. I think. Yeah, most most of the time, married couples don't, don't have, have the conversation about. Abortion, unless it's we own child number seven and we know we can't afford it or something like right. that. But most of the time, married couples don't have that. Um, I know one thing that made me kind of think about our choice. I saw something on social media and it was like, okay, yes, it's the woman's choice to have it. But then if the if it wasn't the man's choice, why does the man then have to pay? If it was her choice to keep it, then let her be the financial carrier of it Stop versus... It <laughs> you know, you force the man into it when y'all were but at odds on the. Is it really solution. forced though? If you already had consented to have sex with this person, well, like you know, know the consequences when you lay down and have sex. You, you do, do. You do as well as as well as the both person, person sex, both people. But I I I have to say, a lot of women do chop them up. Do proceed to have a baby, and the person is telling them that they're not going to take care of it, or they don't and want they it. they still want it. So, if they're, they become a deadbeat, you I know, mean, you, they kind of let you know already ahead of time that it was going to be a deadbeat. And money is not always the answer to supporting a child. Children need more than more than They money. need you they there. Need more than that. Presence. Um, I would say it's going to be her choice, because she would need the person's consent if she decided to go have an abortion or not. It's her choice. Yeah. Um, but it's the her choice is always a one way street because if the man wanted to keep the baby and the woman didn't want to keep the baby, then there's nothing that he can really do in order to you can't force, force her to carry her to have a baby. But people can sign over their rights when the, they can. You still are. Res- you have to check your laws in your state because you can still be responsible, responsible for financially if you for the child. Over your yeah. To the child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so what do people say? In the and comments, Antonio. Um, Antonia said, at the end of the day, it's her choice. Is um, this a married couple? We did. Did we say that? Oh, if yeah. it's a married couple, I feel like it's yeah. their choice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go ahead. said, it's oh. our choice if, it, if they're married. Abortion is straight toxic, no matter who choice it is. All right, Kingo. Antonia said, if you know the man don't want it, don't complain to him when he's not there. And um, Jacoy said, said, it's, it's her choice. You're going to be a good mama and daddy. <laughs> Send my piece. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the thing with the yeah, smoke behind it. <laughs> I had to keep, I had oh to keep from God. laughing because I read his first. The emojis, the emojis. All right, Carlos. Carlos. This is a sensitive topic. He said, this is a sen- sensitive topic, but it's a woman's choice. Her body, her choices. From the guy she picks, whatever comes out of that. True, true. Slip ups happen, Joy said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Johnny said it's her choice, but give men the choice to abandon rights to the child. <laughs> All the men say, hey, men you always say that. Baby. But but you, let me abandon it. I, I don't want to be there. I can choose to be out. I can choose to be out. If it's not, if we not He's, on the same page. Um, <laughs> Uncle D said, her body, her choice. Okay. Arthur said, her choice, men have no right to tell a woman when to create one. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, but technically she can't lay down <laughs> lay by them. herself they lay and down together. impregnate herself. So, I mean, uh, j- y'all created boy. one together, whether it was <laughs> her choice or not. Consenting to intercourse uh-huh. is not equivalent to entering parenthood against my, my will. will. I mean, if you get somebody, oh my god, he might have been on that lean or something. Hey, 
Yeah. Like it comes to America too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Austin awesome said two minutes of pleasure. Well, well 18, 18 years. years. There you go. <laughs> Could potentially be longer than that. Right. Um, Kingo Keep said, going. shout out um, to take action and plan and a plan B. You know what I learned about plan B over the weekend? Actually, what? at a comedy show. Educators. If you're over 174 pounds, the chances of a plan B working for you decline. Oh, so you got to take two. Are you serious? I, I you got to pay $100. Whoa. It does. Pounds. So if you messing with a thick, thick woman or BBW, you that gotta, plan B might not you be gotta a plan You got to slip two plan Bs into her <laughs> the next morning. Um, Gina said, it's always the woman's choice. Um, Ronnie said, our, our choice. choice. And Carlos said the purpose of sex is procreation. So you run that risk. Like um, if you having you down, a kid or kids. Or multiples. Guys, bring your own condoms to the party. Or or her well, choice. Or her choice. <laughs> it sounds like most people still feel like it's her, her choice, choice. But um a lot of the men folks say, hey, if we ain't on the same page about this, it's your body and your choice. But also, I don't believe I should be trapped into a financial situation or something that I did not willingly really sign up so for. So dumb. Antonio, he said 18 years, 18 years. No, it's 18th birthday. birthday Found out All right, Kanye. All right, Kanye. Gold digger. That would, that oh, would that suck. Would, yeah. That would suck. Kanye and I would sue her for all I my would, support back. For 18 years. Like, literally, what if you thought a kid was yours for 18 years? That's your kid at that point. No matter what the you DNA took care of that kid. That's your kid. All right, moving on. That's moving your on. Kid, Final kid. thoughts. Her choice. Most everybody said her choice. Yeah. All right. So, if your partner cheats up, does it hurt less? If they cheat down, does it hurt more? <laughs> cheat up like, like better than like you. Like she look better than you. She look better than you. She got more. She better than you. She look better than you. She bad. I think it hurts. Bad. I'm what gonna say. say, say? Please, I ain't nobody. I, so feel, I feel like it hurts worse if they... Beyonce got cheated on. I should be hurt. <laughs> I, I have the right, right to be hurt. I have a right to be hurt. I have a right to be hurt. But Beyonce I'm gonna... hurt when she got cheated on. <laughs> I'm gonna say like it might hurt. It's gonna hurt worse for me if they cheat down. Like what were you thinking? <laughs> like literally that. Like are you are you kidding me? Like <laughs> the girl at the bus stop. I'm gonna be hurt. hurt. If the girl over there with this big ponytail, yeah. <laughs> I don't think nobody the ponytail. Gonna, it's the ponytail. ponytail. People say that, but I don't but think they really feel like. I feel like, like it's gonna make you feel worse if, if they cheat if down. She, no, or I mean, up. if they cheat, if they cheat up, up, maybe they leveled up, and feel, I need to level up. If my man cheated worse. with like Sanaa Lathan. I'm just like, oh, it's I might just have to be like, I oh, mean, you should have been like, you should have you get her like, autograph for me? I like, like, can we get a picture? To, can we <laughs> all go to lunch? I need closure. <laughs> so it has to be a celebrity. No, let me not uh, say that. <laughs> let me not say that. All right, then. Never mind the celebrity, celebrity thing. Not the celebrity thing. Not a celebrity, but. I'm with you, Gina. It what hurts. Gina said. It hurts. Period. I, yeah, that part. Down. But when it's down, it hurts worse. <laughs> when you're like, that's, like what you, that's what you went for? Like, that's what you messed all of our stuff up for? For that? For that. For that. She ain't she not even worth it. That. That. Antonio said, I can't compete with this. Boop. He got a six, six pack, pack in a sack. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Said, I don't think either would hurt because Wait, she some. ain't me, period. That's what I'm talking about, Candace. I skipped Period. Yo, loss. Moving along. No, it ain't. Um, mm. Let's see. Cheating hurts, period. We already said that. Candace. Okay. Hey, Adrian. Car said cheating is cheating, and I'm gonna f you up either way. That part, right, bestie. That I'm gonna f you up and f you down. How about that? <laughs> cheat, <laughs> up, you cheat up, or you get beat down. You cheat up, you get beat down, and get beat down. Right? Cheat up, get beat down. Cheat down, get beat up. That's what it is. That's what it is. Carlo said, if you cheat down, then you a sucker. But we're talking Ooh. overall credit rating here. Looks, career, intellect, and all included in the rating. True, true. So what a sucker is that? Put a one in the a chat if you're a sucker. <laughs> I don't think Put a one if you're a sucker. <laughs> They're clear. I don't think Nobody about to put a one. Nobody about to put a one. Oh, my gosh. I'm so you going to put a two. <laughs> oh, What's man. the two? Beat up. Two thumbs up. That's a two, Antonio. Cheat uh, up. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm guessing moral of the story, story is <laughs> cheating hurts. Cheating hurts. And you're going to get beat up and beat down. Beat down. <laughs> Um, cheating's overrated to me. It's just, um, it's a mean game. Um, so let's play on player. Yeah. All right, Kinko. Carrie! Arthur said, I've heard some of the most unattractive women get the best. Never mind. I'm gonna be hurt, hurt. <laughs> get his get ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I ain't gonna lie, but them, let me be quiet. <laughs> it does hurt your feelings a lot more when you look at it and you be like, but dang. Like, like you that? have all of this. And you went to that. And you went to none of that. That. And then let me just <laughs> Olivia say no. Nope, cheating hurts no matter what. Yes, my mommy. That is so true. Oh, so my, guess what? I, Don't cheat. Me, my mommy and my uncle are here. Hi, they're it's a family. family reunion. It's family. a family reunion. And get his money together. Get his money together. <laughs> Rupert says it's bad either way. You're right. It's bad either way. Just don't cheat. Yeah, I say bad either way. Right. She get his shirt. Said don't cheat. Way. Black women don't cheat. Don't black women don't cheat. That's true though. Black women don't cheat. Black true. women do not. Successful black women don't, don't cheat. Don't cheat. <laughs> black women don't cheat. I don't know about black men though. Okay. You know <laughs> so hot topics. So I know we've had some people in here have some good financial comments and some of our other topics. So if y'all still on with us, this uh this right here goes with you. Um the PPP loan gone wrong. Oh, Lord. <laughs> gone wrong. Uh-oh. What's happening, though? The PPP loan did is y'all for see businesses, it? right? I know, but did y'all see that it's girl for, with that whole go for me? payroll Bis- um, to, pay to pay your employees. P- employees. Not just, I got a business, I can take out a loan. That's what you, people you're did? You're supposed to use the PPP loan to pay your employees, not to do whatever you want. Because of the uh, pandemic, right? Yes. Right. Okay. So I seen this girl, Facebook, have a GoFundMe up, trying to help her pay back the PPP loans. Girl, I guess so she won't get in trouble. The feds. So what? The feds coming and taking them to jail and stuff. First of all, why? why? When you, when you apply for a loan, a loan, loan, loan. Mean a loan. What does a loan mean? They have got wait, to pay it back. You, wait, if you are a real business and you can provide the documentation, then you can get forgiveness, loan forgiveness. But you have to be a legitimate business that can prove that you Why use you the money. Me? I didn't try to go. <laughs> use the money to pay um to pay your people. So moral of the story: right. don't listen to us with the brother, cousin, auntie, grandma, sister, no baby mama. Not the lady girl, girl, get that loan, girl. Get that loan, girl. Get that loan, girl. You, girl. Girl. you ain't got to pay it back, girl. And everybody that, that got the loan looking scared now, like this. Mm-hmm. Look, mm-hmm. looking like they gonna be sent. Not Samuel. What's the man from Blade? Uh, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. He back locked on the scene. Up. He, he is back. But he was okay. locked up for them fat tax evasion. <laughs> hey, Candace says she saw the PPP bus on Pine Hills. Now, see, that's just provoking Aww. people. That's messed Why up. Why you in Pine Hills? Oh, Talk about their people. <laughs> I think, I think oh, that's somebody somebody the last topic. Up this is a good topic, though. Which one? What Carlos would do? Polygamous the people cheat. Polyamorous we'll save that. People Poly- people cheat. Yeah. Um, we'll save that. If we'll you're unethical, that. yes. Um, hello, big sis. You writing it down? Mm-hmm. Um, Joey said, big jail, up the road. Antonio said, right. they going to jail, jail. Guard! <laughs> Carlos said, that's ninja-ish. <laughs> um, they picking them up. Not, no game plan with the government money. And they know they don't have no damn business. People, a lot of people did that, though, because they thought it was an easy way to get money in. Right. At the time, they were, like, pretty much just handing out the money, trusting people. I got to do what they were doing. I do hair. I do hair in my house. No. That's a business. I got a business. But, I do makeup. But do y'all kind of think it was like a setup for yep. people? Like, yep. Di- like and they fell for it. Disenfranchised people a little bit. Yeah, because so they I, fell for I, it. I just think it was people, you know, people that people did not, the government. No, I think it's people that truly did not read the fine print and read what it was about. Mm-hmm. And they let somebody else come to them and say, hey, this is what this is. Instead of reading for themselves, but, and that's your problem, because as a whole grown person, you should read up, research, and sure as hell read anything before you sign it. Carter, even if they didn't read, they knew that they didn't have a business. <laughs> These people legitimately made up a business. Right, some of them You know what I mean? Some of them business. made up a business to get the loan. And, just line, and the business was supposed to already be intact before the pandemic. Right. And you turned around, opened an LLC yesterday, and you filed, and you filed for, for the PPP, PPP loan. loan once get the no, you ain't got nothing for 
And I right, said, at? oh no, Just Kingo kidding. said, problem is most people who apply and already getting government assistance like unemployment and disability. They they try That's how they getting it. caught. Yeah. And mm. then making big purchases like nobody not going right. to at all. Uh, Arthur said employees and business expenses, rent, etc. Our people, as shaking my head, it was a trap from the start, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Nothing is free. We should already know this. Crazy and sad, though. I'm glad you knew what I, IMO was, because if I would have read oh, that comment, you I would have said I'm IMO. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I had to figure that out. I just, I just actually IMO. figured that out like three months ago. <laughs> and then ISO, too. I found I that out, too. I read his comments, so I'm glad you got it. Carlos. Carlos said, "Sad part is they effed up the mo- effed up the money or upped up the bag for small business that, is that true. actually needed yes, it. Yes, it's that's probably, true. They said it's a lot of small businesses that can't get approved for the loan. They Saw need that? the loan. <laughs> 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 knock my phone out, man. Girl, bye. She done she hit me. Oh, Try to knock my phone on the ground. <laughs> but they giving it to some of these other people who don't even qualify. Yeah, that's sad. Okay." Um, Johnny said, I saw this coming when they first announced it. Yes. Darren said, yes, definitely a setup. Set up. Candace said, somebody I know said, they business is a dog walker. Like, girl, get the F out of here. A dog that's walker. Dude, you know ain't that dog. Is, that's the case. We that a business, is a y'all. business, though. <laughs> dog we need to get, get paid. We need to pay our employees. They, they got a whole lock system for doors now where somebody can come to your house. <laughs> and come get in your house to walk the dog and leave. Why you ain't finished off her comment? Oh, <laughs> you forgot to mention. I, did, like, I, I said they coming to get you in your dog. Oh, oh yeah, she did. Okay. You know, I thought you added that. <laughs> no, that's what she said. Um, I'm Carlos dogs, said setups are always ninja ish. Antonio, Antonio, I got I, the hook up. Oh, <laughs> if you heard me, oh, I, I can do bad by myself. myself LLC. LLC, I'll go everything LLC. Go I'm my so life. done. Somebody oh, called a breakfast club and they asked him, what's the LLC? He didn't even know what the LLC was that they put in his name. He just got the money and they took didn't his even percentage know? and, yeah. He was like, I don't even know. I'm like, oh. gonna know when the feds come knocking at the door. What about, what about the girl that did the PPP loan in her mama name and now they like, they want their money back? From her mama? Yeah, she, no, she, the mama, oh. know she put it in her name. Mm. But she put it in the mama name and Poor now the people wanting their money. They want payment. But she ain't got it, y'all. That's, that's so why she, she made the go for me then. Look, y'all should have just been happy with the stimulus money that the government is still giving you. y'all for y'all and y'all seven kids. Because as a person who doesn't have kids, I've never wanted kids more in my life. To get that <laughs> stimulus this <laughs> last year. And wow. no, they're like coming oh, out so with upset. more stuff for people. Yeah, like, like thirty six hundred dollars in and the then, summer. And then money every month until December. Like they getting the they like, getting money, dang. money. Bro, what's the problem? They like, pop one in. <laughs> Man, everybody <laughs> ain't win, win. like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, where are we at? Hey, Talisa. Johnny said they were hunting down all the scammers. Y'all knew the scammers was coming. Once they, they knew that was going to come. Long, them scammers was about to hit. Coming. Mm-hmm. Candace. Oh, no. Carlos said she should she should have did it in her grandparents', grandparents name. name. Damn. And, I mean, That's well. That's even worse because some people try to use they deceased. No, but animals. look, when you do stuff to old people, they be coming after you, though. They people have a heart for old people and animals. You know what I mean? Man. Old people and animals. put it in your dog name, they're going to be knocking at your door Yo, as soon as you press the meat. You do something to the dog, they're coming at your door. <laughs> leave Woo-hoo. the old people away alone and leave the animals alone. Thank you. Darren said them stimmies were enough for me. Right. Uh, if you, did, if you said, did them right. Yeah. If you did them right. They, yeah, that uh, part. They okay. have most. Oh, they you have most about. of them are... They don't know what these people. Oh, oh, she's saying that's what most of them are. They don't know what the people put Putting in on the applications. applications. Yeah, oh. because some people just like, girl, my friend doing this, she can hook you up with a loan. Like they got people that actually go out and yeah, and they charge find you. people to bring yeah. you in and get a percentage of the money, sure do. just to, to hook make you some in money off of that and put it in your name. And, and guess then what? I'm gonna get something just for bringing mm-hmm. you in. Yep. Um, <laughs> Who bought it? I told you the grandparents. Carlos told oh my, my grandparents would have gave me the green light. <laughs> <laughs> reparations. Oh my God. Reparations. Go ahead, baby. You, let's see how much reparations you get when you're behind sitting in prison. Police punking people. PPP. Right. PPP. Police punking people. All right. Uh, definitely moving, moving on. on. Man, Stay ahead. away from the PPPs. You, you can't, can't read it or no. see it? Um, she don't got I her glasses. I don't have okay. my glasses on, but it's on my phone. It says... How often do you prefer to talk to someone you're dating? Multiple times a day, once a day, occasionally, or when you have plans? 
Okay, mm. so when you say dating, like we're not in a serious relationship type of dating, like are you mean to we're, know? we're dating as if we decided to be exclusive with each other? Dating? I, I think dating means like you're just getting to know each other, either or like dating, you should sure. still be dating. I mean, it really it depends on how you look at it because some people say, if dating. some people say I'm dating, that means Don't I'm not every committed day. to someone, I'm literally out here. Dating, dating around. Oh, if I'm and, dating multiple people, I should still yeah. talk to you every day. Now, all of y'all. All, all, of y'all. <laughs> all of y'all. But you got your slot. Like, if you the morning slot, be the morning slot. Good morning, baby. Don't be trying to slide into the morning. Good morning, the morning beautiful. <laughs> like, you got to stay in your Good night, slot. Love. If I'm just dating and I'm dating around, Good you got your slot. Friend. And then you got your date day. Stay in your lane. So you got morning, noon, and night. Yes. Yeah. Figure out where you fit in that and slot. And I might slide in an extra snack on the weekends. Snacks. Snack <laughs> slot. Okay. I say, um, I say, you say what? You, you need to talk to the person at least every day. I, was I feel like if you're dating, yeah, I want to hear like from you. But if we're in a relationship, like I, I don't know, I like talking. Still like I'll, I like talking all throughout the day because I just will, I'll call you for two minutes just to be like, man, guess what? Somebody just came up to me and said, okay, that's it. Like, and you know, two minute conversation end. that'd be the end all for like day. another two hours or something. All like, day. All he must have got no job day. if he said all day. He ain't got no job. He talking about on his break. Let me stop. I'm just he talking about on all his breaks. <laughs> all right. day. Call me on the, the first break. stage. Is the best stage Lunch, on your way home? That's true. The multiple first stage, times multiple a day. Times. Um, too many definitions to answer this question accurately. <laughs> oh my pick god, one. pick, pick one. one. What's your pick definition? One. What's your pick definition? Pick your answer. definition of dating and, and then your answer. answer. And it's my okay player. <laughs> The less we talk, the longer we'll get, get along. along. Kiko said. That's, mm, that, oh, no, I don't know, know about the that. The longer. I mean, I mean, you toxic. I, I, you, you might be toxic. I need to talk to somebody about that. I you know. We're talking be, about the less we talk. You, you might be a little toxic, Kingo. A little you're toxic. Just a little bit. Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's sort of kind of toxic, but not really. <laughs> Darren said, "If the person you <laughs> dating <laughs> with, you will want to talk to them very often, multiple times." That's true. Yes, you're infatuated with them at this talking stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to agree with multiple oh times. Goodness. Multiple times. Candace said, when "Nothing you wrong think with about that." Me, hit me. When you think about me, hit me. I don't care if it's every minute. Oh no, no, Let me, me stop. No, nah, mm-hmm. that's blowing it up. Uh, yeah, that's stalker vibes. That's kind of stalker, stalker vibes. vibes. Mm-hmm. That's kind of stalker vibes. But I don't mind us. You know, if we're in a relationship, I don't mind like us getting into that pattern of you know we call each other on our lunch breaks or on the way to work or on the way from work or on the way you know to something like getting into like little patterns like that where you know you're gonna talk to that person five six times because sometimes you if you're just well does it make a difference if you're going home to that person I still you know what I mean right I still feel like still hit me up make me feel wanted. (laughs) <laughs> no, I still want to talk to you all throughout the day because I feel like there's still stuff that we you still don't tell that person. I'm down like, with man, multiple. I forgot to tell you this, or man, I yeah. was gonna tell you, but I forgot because I got called. You know, so is it safe always, to say we're all down with multiple, multiple, multiple? I'm down with multiple, multiple times, times if we're in a relationship. I talk to my mom right. multiple times a day. Carlos, oh, he said an answer, y'all. If we're in a relationship, then we're talking. If we're not in a relationship, then whenever, play well. See, see you when I see you. <laughs> It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, as often as possible without being distracting, Johnny said. Okay. My sister-in-law, hey, sis. She said multiple times throughout the day. Did I skip that one? Shit popped up. Yeah, oh, we got, I don't got that one. not even okay. coming. Um, Gina said multiple. Um, Candace said right. She was responding. Oh, okay. Multiple. As possible. often. Yeah, as often. Um, Gina been, said but. literally just had this talk with my guy friend. Friend. Mm-hmm. Mm. You say he's just a friend. Mm. You say he's just a friend. Uh, oh, Gina, you. Let me stop. Kiko <laughs> said, the less we talk, the more we will miss each other. Hashtag, I'm not toxic. I'm a man. man. Oh, but that's not always. Okay. Well, I mean, yes he want no. you. He want her to miss something. He want to miss something. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, but what if the miss something is, and you know, somebody else you take a you night off, of, like maybe y'all see each other every day, and, and maybe y'all just skip a day in between, but y'all still talk all throughout the day on that phone, day on that phone, yeah. but you just get to miss each other by not seeing each other. Like I don't know, I you just still feel miss like somebody's that, presence. Yeah, you yeah. can miss someone's presence, but still be in communication with them. I yeah, definitely agree with that. Hi, um, Tanya, your mommy. 
said, when you are getting to know someone, the more you talk to one another, the more you will learn about each other. And I totally agree. That's how you get to know somebody by talking. The, time they can be lying the less you talk, really are. the less you know. <laughs> the less you talk, the less you know. The more you talk, the more you know. There we go. We are so good on slogans today. We should. Mama said it best. We should put them on shirt. I'm put them on a shirt. Y'all gonna if get you it? Cheat up, body, you get beat down. You Whoa, cheat you down, down. You get, get beat, beat up. up. That's going on the shirt. Yeah. It's going on the shirt. We, we gotta get those. I'm gonna hit my shirt. shirt guy right now. Hit Carlos him. said <laughs> you do things with people who you want to do things with, mm-hmm. and you sometimes do things with people that you shouldn't do things with. The lines get blurred sometimes. Carlos, you sound like you got a story to tell. I know. Line the lines get blurred. blurred. It's always the guys with the story to tell. Let me stop. <laughs> Donald said multiple but, times, if I care. So, listen, if a guy's not hitting you up multiple times, does that mean they don't care? Because he just some made that guys, statement. You know what I mean? Well, some guys yeah, aren't co- communicators they or they don't like, some guys aren't over the phone people, but when you get in front of them, they don't shut up. So, or some guys but like even text if, you, even but they like, won't I was going to say, even like shooting a text, like this still lets somebody know that you're on their mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you can still. I definitely prefer to be on the phone. It's faster. Have a conversation. Because yeah. I really don't text like having. Is, yeah, texting is like if I'm in a My meeting, that should have been tied. an email. I don't mind Then text. text me. But I don't mind texting either. It's just like, if we're having a whole conversation, just pick up the phone. <laughs> Carlos, yeah. Call yeah, we gonna end me, this with a bang, baby. baby. Yeah, okay. We're with a bang. with a bang. With a bang. Bang, bang, bang. Like pop. Shabang bang. No, because I, I feel like, you know, this this one might cause some controversial oh, okay. conversations. We have some some articulate people on here tonight. Let's get it. All right. So Please share it too. Things <laughs> that men slash women do to push their partners or potential partners away. Ooh. So things people do to push potential partners or current partners. Away. Not I wanna say my first answer would probably be like not showing them like your your full potential like their your interests like fully so kind of so like like we just talked about like hitting them up like multiple times so i feel like if a, if a if a guy's interested in me and he doesn't hit me up often then i'm going to think he's not as interested so okay. that will push me away. So not showing your true interest, like letting right. your true intentions your true intentions show. That would definitely push me away. I'm like, okay, bye. Um mm-hmm. something that ignoring me. Oh yeah. I'm a, I like, I'm a G and stuff, but when I get don't ignored, yeah, oh my gosh, it just takes me back to childhood. Like, don't like, don't ignore me. me. Like, somebody said they were going to play with me. Nobody puts baby in the nobody corner. Nobody plays with me. <laughs> yeah, Dirty like, dancing. Please, yeah, I think ignoring, Young being books, ignored. Don't know that. So like she said, maybe not hitting me up or if I called and you don't call me back for push me away. three days at a time or something like that, then that's going to push me away. It's going to just make me feel like I'm not wanted and I'm going um, eventually. Not making time or plans. Mm, that would definitely. Good, good answer. Good, good answer. answer. That would be a number two for me. Yeah. If you can't make time, then. Like you, if you, you might like, think you, point? if you always busy, you might not be ready to be in a relationship. So. What I'm here for. Bye. Mm. Okay. What the people. What the people say. The people Where we say at? it. Antonio um, said complain, attitude, attitude nagging. nagging. Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> Don't trust. Don't trust. Yeah. Carlos. I think that not trusting people though comes from baggage from other situations. Potentially. I've totally been guilty. Potentially. Of that. I won't even like just act like yeah. I'm Miss Goody Two Shoes. I've been if, I've yeah. carried some baggage. From place to place, a time or two. Bad um, lady, huh? Carlos says, mm-hmm. show their true self. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you're pretending to be somebody Something that you're not. not. But you know, eventually that their their gas runs out for that. Because it's yeah, time. You can't keep putting on the show. To be a whole fake person. Eventually, you're going to be like, uh, and what's that Nutty Professor? When he be going back and forth. <laughs> and he's going to love him. But yeah. he's going to be like. And, be like and he starts seeing stuff yeah. that he, when he was the other person. Um, mm-hmm. insecurity, Adrian said. That is a big one too. I mean, Adrian, did you read in my diary? <laughs> insecurity. Yeah. Candace said being too aggressive. Mm-hmm. That could be a uh, turn off. Definitely. It, it came in when they come on just a little, a little too strong. <laughs> I think you I think you lit. <laughs> so wrong. Uh, okay. my bestie said nagging, complaining, not making time for your partner. Yes, yes. Darren said too, too much, much attitude. attitude. Well, oh, what you talking about? Darren, ain't nobody got time for you. Period, Darren. Um, <laughs> um, Candace said, I hate being ignored too. I, I think King, that's people in general. Like, I don't like being ignored either. 
Because they're going through but it his makes phone me have a temper tantrum. Or stalking his social media pages. <laughs> going through your phone. Stalking social media. Like, that's too much. That's stalking. What is stalking? Though. Because if is I'm she scrolling and it's on my timeline. What you mean? I mean, if it's. Oh, if do you mean. Okay, stalking your so Like, going and looking at who you liked, who stuff you liked, who stuff you commented That's too on. much. That's too much. That's too much. That's actually. Yeah, that's stalking, but that's too much. <laughs> Um, where are we at? Yeah. Being disrespectful or being um uncoachable. 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 But you is it your job to fix people? Johnny, Johnny, who you coaching and what you coaching them on? Is, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you the counselor? Because if you're coaching somebody, you have to be careful about like coaching people because there's one thing if you're co- like trying to show someone how to treat you, but it's another thing if you're out here trying to change people from being who they actually are. <laughs> So you might be over here trying to be the dead horse, talking about they uncoachable, Uh-oh. but you're trying to make it's this person fault. change who they are right. in the core of their person, okay, and that's not your job. Period. What she <laughs> said. Oh, uh, I learned that in counseling this week. Um, <laughs> Antonio replied to being aggressive. Said he got to get pictures off the gerbil. I had to laugh pictures of what? Pictures. pictures. Oh, pictures. <laughs> nudes. <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about nudie nudes? <laughs> No face, no case. Carl the dribble. was laughing at the naughty professor, and Donald said, when someone asks me who I am looking at. Oh, that's the turn off. Oh, that's the turn off. Who, who are you looking, looking at? at? Jacoy said, nah, go through his phone. That's his love language. Oh, go what? through your phone. Jacoy, you might be a little talking Hold to on. yourself. Somebody. Bring your phone to work. Let me stop. Going through <laughs> your phone. He's like, he'll make you um. look all through this thing, girl. That's just show me you love me. <laughs> Meanwhile, she'll, look, she'll really love you. Hold on, y'all. Meanwhile, that's his second phone. Let me stop. Oh, <laughs> the real phone. The real, the real phone. phone at the, the real phone in the armrest in the car. They don't, it never it never leave the car. That's why you don't <laughs> care. You got one for the one for your regular phone and one for your host. There's that toxic. Toxic. Yeah, toxic. I'm going to have to say it. Oh. Listen to other women or friends. That yeah, guys get bad guys, advice too. I was gonna say that guys get bad advice to their guy friends too. It's like if you got friends yeah. who ain't in a relationship or are in a bad relationship, yeah, forget that girl. Come hang with us. What you taking advice from them for? They they, might they not just know. as bad off as you <laughs> or worse. Like guys, they giving bad advice. Yeah, definitely. But girls I get bad advice. Some women too. take advice from other women that's always single and never with a man. Girl, she can't even find her own man. How she gonna help you keep your man? You gotta watch who you taking advice from. Yeah, just that take your own advice. That, that's Johnny. Take said, your own advice. You have to coach people on how to treat you and operate in mm. the world you're building through. And Darren said, no, not the second phone. Brings back memories. Oh, okay, skip, Darren. You skip. Um, All right, um, play a play. Kingo. From the Himalayas. Oh, Kingo. Kingo oh, said, Kingo um, social media stalkers be like, I see your little fan club on Facebook, <laughs> but the hoes better not come off the bleachers. Oh, damn. Oh, off the bench. Somebody said that to you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. A couple somebody times. Somebody you quoted somebody. Too good. You quoted somebody somebody. said that to he you. Just, no, he probably just looked at his text messages and just copied and pasted. Like, oh, I see you on that podcast. Yeah, Let's you stop. better not be liking them old Look, pictures. They better not come right. off the bleachers. They better not come off the TV screen. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, Carla said, I'm going to listen to these ninjas. All right. Okay. okay. Well, okay. that's good to know that yeah. some people still can think for themselves. Right. But um, some guys can't. You know. I guess what's on can't. It's it's nice. time to leave so long. But before we leave, we do want to make an announcement that we will be having another live live coming up. We'll announce the date to you guys shortly. So we need you guys Just clear to your calendar. Come yeah. out you to know. support us for the live live. And where are we gonna be, friend? Where are we gonna be? Gemini Hookah. Gemini Lounge. Hookah Lounge. Gemini Hookah Lounge. Yeah, Those of you who came out hookah. last time, thanks for your support. We had an awesome, awesome time. Awesome turnout. It was people so had good. fun. Like, I don't know if some of those people made it to work the next Oh, hour. yeah. You left early. I left probably like an hour after the show, but it was still, they were was, still turning was up and having a good time. And I was like, but y'all know y'all got to go to work tomorrow. Like, I ain't yeah, going to 10 a.m. the next day, y'all. I woke up bright and early and went to work. I woke up at 5. <laughs> went to work. Because I, I knew to leave on time, but... Um, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Yes, thank you. you and make sure awesome. you guys are definitely following us on all of our thanks platforms. Thanks for tuning in, Uncle D. Mommy. Yes. 
And um, oh okay. yeah, I mean, oh you yeah, know, feel free up. if you guys like what you see from week to week. You can always drop us a little some something, something in the cash app to help us fund the little expenses behind Keep the scenes going. that you don't really know about. But um, until the next time, the new Ciroc hit it. Yeah, let me tell you Who about Antonio. This? Antonio. Oh, Antonio. Antonio, 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 Antonio can't keep his head up. Antonio he like this. is lit, lit right now. He lit that new Ciroc. What is it called? Summer something? Summer. <laughs> summer. It's all right. His lady. His lady. His lady here. His lady here. Okay, but anyways, guys, guys, make sure you are following us. That's why. It's itchy. Make sure you are following <laughs> us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You, <laughs> if you missed the entire show, you can always go back and watch it. We also have a Twitter and a TikTok. Um, thank you guys definitely for tuning in and have a wonderful, wonderful night. Peace, love, and... Hagris. Peace, love, and Hagris. <laughs> <laughs>